I want to show you something enormous that newly released in this video. This is great news for XRP's potential role as a foundational technology in our financial system of the future. News like this simply exposes the Bitcoin maxis as complete moron for counting XRP out for years. You will be more convinced than ever that Ripple and XRP will exert a significant influence on our financial system as I demonstrate in this video. Stay for the duration of the event, you do not want to miss it. Towards the conclusion of this clip. I also want to discuss the status of the market right now. I want to show you a video that will help you understand what the greatest money is doing during the current economic crisis. I am aware that there is a lot of fear right now and that things appear scary. I'm going to demonstrate to you how amazing a buying opportunity this is. And the wealthiest people in the world are taking advantage of this decline to stock up on their preferred cryptocurrencies. You won't want to miss a thing, so make sure to watch the video through to the conclusion. As usual, I want to express my gratitude to everyone who subscribed to the channel. It definitely helps me so much in producing additional films just like this. Please consider subscribing if you're one of the viewers that watches this channel every day. It would mean the world to me and would go a long way toward assisting this channel's growth. I'd like to introduce you to Bitcoin Max at the beginning of this video. He is referring to XRP and Ripple. And I think it's hilarious because I'm about to show you the announcement that was made earlier today before I show you this video. Once you hear what these men are saying about Ripple and XRP, they really speak for themselves. You guys will see that these Bitcoin maxis are so full of it after I show you what I'm about to show you. It exists for like any purpose. Is Ripple the company doing anything with Ripple or? Well, I, I mean, I conflate if Ripple and XRP is the same. Yeah. Even well, I'm not really sure I want them to lose a case to the SEC. The enemy of my enemy is yeah. my friend. It's a, it's a, I mean, I just, I think Ripple dies anyway. So guys, the first thing I want... They spread fraud while promoting FUD justice. And to be really honest, I believe that they are aware of the importance that XRP and Ripple will have for our financial system in the future. And for that reason, they feel compelled to talk so badly about the technology. Pay great attention to what I say, and then wait until I show you what I mean. So how funny is it that right off the RIP? Is what I want to draw attention to first. Do they call XRP Ripple on purpose? You can see these people are purposefully just trying to generate fun. How absurd is it that they then decide that nothing has to be done because the waves will eventually fade out? What exactly do Ripple and XRP do? Guys, that these individuals truly believe that this stupid FUD works is absurd. These individuals are folks I know, and I know they're both pretty brilliant. You'd really have to not follow cryptocurrency at all and simply listen to individuals like these to believe that they are unaware of what is happening with multiple Ripple and XRP. These individuals are attempting to advance a narrative because they see the importance of XRP and Ripple in our upcoming financial system. In all honesty, it's achieving everything they hoped Bitcoin would. These people have no control over the fact that XRP exceeds Bitcoin in every technological category, thus the only option available to them to try to slow XRP down is to simply default it. No, it isn't at all working. And if we examine this revelation, it will render their remarks that, oh, ripples just are going to die away laughably absurd. We'll be engaging with cryptocurrency startups like Ripple and DigitalAsset.com on a new sandbox program to assess technical enterprises and policy approaches to a US CBDC, as Coindesk announced earlier today. Guys, we already know that Ripple really sells goods to government reading CBDCs that are based on the XRP ledger. Is that enough innovation for these two Bitcoin maxis to recognize that Ripple and XRP are genuinely important things happening, or do they need more? For example, do they need the fact that Fed is now directly collaborating with Ripple? What about the Ripple-affiliated Digital Dollar Initiative or the Digital Euro Organization, both of which bear the Ripple name prominently? What about the Ripple Collaborating Digital Pound Foundation? The UN is another matter. The IMF, what about it? How does the WEF fare? 
What are you BIS guys doing with all these huge businesses, huge financial institutions, and the most elite, powerful organizations in the world that have Ripple and XRP written all over them? And those two Bitcoin maxis I showed you earlier aren't even able to comprehend the significance of this technology. Because if they can't, it's funny to think about how rapidly all these extremely powerful companies and governments are discovering how crucial it is for them to incorporate Ripple and XRP into their payment processes. These Bitcoin maxis still don't even understand it. This also struck me as being quite humorous. This is another another instance of one of the world's largest banks removing XRP in its name. I'm not sure when this presentation from the Federal Reserve was made, and I'm not going to play the video for you because the audio quality is so bad. However, if you visit my Twitter, you will see it, and I'll make sure to retweet it once more immediately away. But folks, right now, a Federal Reserve employee is presenting on how to revamp their payment system, and he or she has practically dropped the names of Ripple and XRP. Because of this, it makes me laugh even more when I hear Bitcoin Maxis rant about how they don't grasp Ripple and XRP. Well, that only leads me to believe that you might not really comprehend cryptocurrency. Because these huge institutions are openly declaring, yeah, we're utilizing Ripple and XRP if you can't understand anything this basic and obvious. If you can't agree that this is utility, then they are using XRP and Ripple to address a critical issue in our financial system. And males, perhaps they aren't the best individuals for you to listen to. That, in my opinion, is one of the strangest aspects of the whole situation. In any case, it seems pretty obvious to me, and I'm sure it does too, too, to you guys. Most other crypto projects are not doing as well as Ripple and XRP in some markets. And that is actually a fairly unique quality of the Ripple and XRP mix. Guys, before we discuss the situation of the market, I want to show you a crucial video that you must watch in order to feel more comfortable investing during the present downturn. Since I addressed this news in my video from yesterday, I wanted to quickly show you because Jeremy Hogan actually just added to the conversation. The SEC's actions just serve to highlight how ludicrous it all is. We are aware that one of the most bizarre things we just discovered was that certain SEC employees were really trading XRP up until 2019. Yes, the SEC proved that they were aware that XRP wasn't a security by trading it while being prohibited from trading securities or illegal securities. But what's worse is that XRP Princess stated that until 2019, SEC staffers essentially were unaware that XRP was a security when they instructed their staff to cease trading it. Jeremy Hogan, though, adds much more clarity to this. He claimed that even then, a probe into Ripple had made it so that the SEC did not even consider XRP to be a security, which is why the personnel of the SEC were prohibited from trading XRP beginning in 2019. They only instructed their staff to stop trading XRP because they were once again looking into the company's Ripple men, which is further proof that even the SEC is aware that XRP is not a security. Guys, I can't wait till this case is over since everything now points against the SEC in this instance, and I want to wind up this video by discussing the state of the market. Fortunately, for those of you who have been following the cryptocurrency market for a while, you know that this just happened sometime we witnessed a very similar scenario play out in late 2018, when we saw ourselves in an approximately two-year bear market. Now, I don't share the belief that these cycles will continue to flawlessly repeat indefinitely. Bull runs will continue to be followed by two-year bear markets, then two more bull runs. Because the cryptocurrency market, and really all markets in general, are currently experiencing a lot of suffering, I want to end this video by discussing the status of the market. But since those are the ones you should be following, I want to show you guys what the wealthy are doing. However, I want to quickly point out that this is nothing new. In fact, it is beginning to resemble 2018 quite a little, which is to say that we saw a two-year bear market. Now, folks, I'm not one of those people who believes that the same cycles will continue to repeat themselves indefinitely. We won't just keep experiencing very predictable bull runs, followed by bear markets lasting two years. And it's highly likely that we won't do that again this time. 
I hear a lot of folks saying, oh, this occurred last time, all the time. Therefore, this must occur once more. Markets don't operate that way. They never exhibit such consistency. And I don't think it will turn out that way this time. Nevertheless, I felt compelled to demonstrate this to you because it is impossible to predict how long this slump will continue. We should be assured of one thing, though. The slump has already been felt to a large extent. And many of the big boys are already beginning to settle there. Listen to this footage, which is from 2018. Because it will demonstrate to you how the most influential institutions in the world are already loading up on cryptocurrency. I have no doubt that they are employing this dip to carry out the same precise action. Pay close attention. Being involved in the market for such a long time taught me, among other things, to pay attention to what people are doing rather than what they are saying. Correct. Thus, this is what we ought to consider. And I want everyone to concentrate on this right now. Stephen Cohen, a wealthy hedge fund manager, is worth between $12 and $14 billion. The world's most astute hedge fund manager, and perhaps even of the past century, is investing in Bitcoin. Buying Bitcoin for $6,800. With a net worth of around $1.7 billion, Mark Lazarus Avenue Capital Group invested 1% of his wealth in Bitcoin at the current price. $7,500. Mark Andreessen, Andreessen Horowitz, and Macker Jason, an early investor in Skype, Facebook, and Airbnb, has now started a three. Yes, and Coinbase recently launched a $300 million fund. Wellington Capital, the 12th largest trading firm by volume, has a trillion dollars in assets and is beginning to engage in Bitcoin futures trading. Susquehanna has its own Bitcoin custody department and trading department, and it trades Bitcoin and Ethereum. This new CEO of Goldman Sachs, the most pro-Goldman Sachs and pro-Bitcoin person on Wall Street, David Solomon, has been named the new CEO of Goldman Sachs. He will soon take office. The largest asset manager in the world, BlackRock, just made this announcement. Last year, Larry Fink said, oh, you know what? Cryptocurrency bitcoins are fantastic for your money laundering drug dealer. Right? Right. So once more, based on what you've said, I assume you intend to sell your bitcoin. You're going to remark, oh, this is all BS. But ponder what is taking place right now. They're going to introduce an ETF. They're looking at an exchange traded fund that would make buying bitcoin as simple as pressing a button for anyone with a brokerage firm. Therefore, you must consider this overwhelming evidence, correct? These individuals are all already affluent. Everyone here values their reputation. Guys, if you look at the Rothschilds' last name on the list, you'll see that more junior have already discovered that the Rothschilds have already made an investment in XRP since this asset class is where the biggest money in the world is flowing. They are purchasing their preferred assets during this decline. Don't let the others pass you by. Guys, I really appreciate you being here. I hope this update was enjoyable. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. It is quite helpful to me right now.